Willowbrook and Holy Trinity and welcome to SPAC Games. So this week we're going to be looking at games that help your understanding and memory. So the uh, LI is can I improve my memory, understanding of word groups and spellings by playing a series of SPAC games. And the first game we're going to do is a memory game. Now, on, on this tray I have 15 items. And I'm going to give you some time to look at it, then I'm going to name the items, then I'm going to take the tray away, and you're going to see how many of the 15 items that you can write down. Okay, you ready? So, we have a face mask, a protractor, a recorder, a whiteboard rubber, a whiteboard pen, a rubber, a calculator, a painting, a packet of cheddars, a packet of tissues, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a paper clip, so you can see that one, a set of keys, and a dice. Now, have one last look because I'm going to take it away, and you have got one minute to write down everything, all 15 items, nouns, they're all nouns, common nouns, that are on this tray. Are you ready? Well done. Let's see what you did. Now, a way of aiding your memory is to group things together. And there were some nouns on there that could have gone together in a sort of little sequence. So just to help you, I've put some things here. Did you get the face mask, which might have gone with the tissues and the scissors, the board rubber, the rubber, the whiteboard pen, the pencil, the painting and paper clip? I would have put all of those nouns, common nouns, together. Then I would have put the dice, the calculator, and the protractor, because they're all maths. And then the last three, I took totally random items to confuse you. So keys, recorder, and mini cheddars. Well done if you've got all of them. Well done if you get more than 10, because that wasn't, wasn't that easy. You can always practice this at home, and you can have 20 items on your, on your tray, and you can play with your parents and siblings if you'd like to. That would be really good. Now, the next game is one we've done before, and it's a spelling game. And can you make as many words, three letters or more, from the word greater? Now, I purposely chose that because it's a bit like some of the words, some of the letters in teacher that I gave you last time. And remember the tips last time. When you have A, T and E, you can make three words from those letters, as you can from T, A and R. You have two minutes. So pause your tape and have a go. Okay, well done if you've got more than 15. I want you to carry on doing this task to see as many and many as you get. So I'm not going to share, you what, share with you what I've got yet. So I'm going to share, you, share mine with you when you come back to school and let's just see who's got the most. But well done. I would say very well done if you've got 10 to 15. That's absolutely brilliant. You should have six from these two. 
So very well done. Now the last game we're going to play is Articulate. And I'm going to again, going to read out and describe as many common nouns as I can using the Articulate cards. And I want you to write down as many as you can and see if you can beat your previous score. We're going to time two minutes. Time two minutes now and have a go. So I'm being timed for two minutes here and I'll stop, be told to stop when it's two minutes. So have a go to see how many you can have. Just remember my glasses. Are we ready to time? Great. Okay. Oh, the first noun is something that was on the tray and it's used to erase things. Got it? Rubber. Well done. Um, you keep fish in this. Tank. I write with this, or actually, not often, I actually write with something else, but all of you write with one of these most days. You guessed it? It's a pencil. Well done. Okay. You eat off one of these. Plate. Um, I could go and lie on one of these in the sun on a holiday. So I would be lying on a beach. Well done. Okay. Uh, you can put lots of different things, liquid in one of these. Um, we all have water in one of these at school. So the answer is bottle. Now I'm going to do a proper noun. So this is the name of a river that's very near here and goes all the way to London. So yes, you've got it right, it's the River Thames. Okay, and another proper noun. This is a country where our principal comes from. He's very proud of, of his uh, country of origin. So I'm sure you've all guessed it, New Zealand. Uh, this is something that is in the air and it hovers and it carries people. And it has rotary blades. Have you got it? Helicopter. So now we're going to go to another proper noun, and this is a lady who um, was a nurse in the Crimean War, and we have named a hospital after her in London. So the name is Florence Nightingale. This man, another proper noun, was the first man on the moon, the moonwalk, that said the eagle has landed. And one small step for man, a giant leap for mankind, and that was... Neil Armstrong. Two minutes, how many did you get? Well, very well done if you got all of those. Excellent. So, the last slide is I would like you now to create your own game. And I like to practice and improve your SPAG knowledge and understanding. We will play all of them when we're back in the classroom and I'll give you a little tip. The simplest bag, the simplest games are the best. But all these games today have actually taught you certain things. Common nouns, memory, putting things together, proper nouns and spelling when we did greater. So very well done. Practice these games at home and we really look forward to doing, doing your own with you when you come back to school.